Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits. Hide or even run if necessary. A lot of running and hiding. I, I you know. I'm, I'm well trained from Phasmophobia, so. <laughs> Alright, let's jump in. We're doing normal because hard mode ain't gonna happen today. Maybe in the future I play it, but we'll see. Don't right. forget, some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. Oh. This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Is... I am... My name's Daniel. Daniel. There we go. Okay. I got it. I got there. Don't worry. I got you, dude. That's why you got me. I like to imagine that I'm just like a different part of his brain, just like talking to him too, and he's like, what the frick is this? So, um, if you'd like to imagine that during the course of this gameplay, that would be a, a nice touch, because that's what I'm going to be thinking about. Alright, is that blood, or is that petals, or what is that? A mysterious goo. A memento has been added to the journal. Press J for quick access. Do your mementos, press M to make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Okay, so that's the liquid trail. Doesn't actually say what it is. And J is my journal. Um, so we can see things like notes, our diaries. Um, no notes available. Uh, or mementos again. Okay. Alright, back. Alright, we're gonna follow this mysterious liquid. I feel like my... Hello, knights. And... Oh, oh, oh. I'm drunk. On your feet, soldier. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Me just mad at the mechanics. Not even scared, just like, nope. Alright, that's awesome. The only reason why I'm not scared currently is because I know it's the beginning of the game and hopefully uh, they wouldn't just kill me right off the bat, right? Alright, so we're gonna open things up here. Um, oh, we got some uh, a tender box, right? Yes. Like I said, I'm a little bit familiar with this game. I played the first bit. Um, but honestly, that was like five years ago. I don't, I don't know. Hello? Thank you, another tender box. We're gonna take all of the looting choices that I can. We're gonna not go towards that door that that was closed. Should we? I don't know. I mean, open. What did I say? Okay. Let's go. Let's go into the spook. Oh, it's the rain. I thought it was fire, even though, like, I, I know I already, like, acknowledged the rain. Okay. This isn't too bad. Ooh, more. Stop breathing like that, bro. It's spooky. What do you think? This is a horror game or something? How do I- Oh! Okay. <laughs> was, there, was there a point to this room besides it just being a chair? I think I can- Oh, I can make it closer and further away. Oh! I'm trying to see how to rotate it. I just- Felt a thud. I hope. Uh, so I should mention I'm home alone right now. Um, that is my cats, which I will very much put it to them to scare me. So I already looked in here, didn't I? Who closed these doors? I want all of the doors open. Fire hazard. What are my controls? Okay, crouch. Is there a sprint? No, open doors. Liquid. Scare me. Alright, is this game voice activated or something? Because I said scare me and it was like, footsteps! <laughs> Protect me! You look first. Is there anything around the corner? Oh. No, I'm just going crazy. It's fine. My name is Daniel. My name is Daniel. Don't... Ooh, 
Why is she swinging? That wasn't in my head. Come back with me. I don't know how to rotate things. R. Hold R. There we go. Yeah, because you gotta look first. Oh, sorry. Okay. No! <laughs> Take that. Oh, shoot. This place is dark. Inventory. Here's my inventory. We got four. Journal. Sanity. Crystal clear. I don't know about that. Like... I don't know about that. Relatively, I guess. Like, considering the situation, uh, it's clear. I don't know. Okay. Oh no, the lights! The lights! Turn on lights in the environment by using tender boxes or search for other sources of light. Oh, oh is there anything in here? I don't really want to use my tinder boxes yet. I'd rather go a little bit insane. I don't think there's reason to be in here. Hope not. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna press tab again. A slight headache. Down these stairs into the darkness. I didn't bring a friend with me, so I'm kind of scared. Old, old archives. I forgot to mention I'm wearing a a uh, Friday the 13th Jason uh, shirt. I'm also, um, not on purpose, but I'm also drinking out of Camp Crystal Lake uh, cup. So, I, I didn't do that on purpose. I didn't mean to match both of them. I did mean the shirt. Kyupu! No! No, 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 no! No! I said no! Hey, I ain't even scared of you! Whoever blew that open. Is it light enough in here for me to not go insane? Slight headache. Oh my god, the noises are so loud. E. Oh no! I don't have anything to hold on to. Is this still too dark in here for me? Friend. Alright, you're coming with me. Every horror game should have this aspect to bring something along with you. Don't I get a, like... <laughs> I love that you can just hit things to open it too, it's awesome. I got a box! Test it out. It just explodes. <laughs> oh no, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, sounds are very scary. A book! Education. No. Another book! Oh! How did I almost miss that? A lantern! Imagine missing this. <laughs> okay. I picked up a lantern. When filled with oil, can be turned on pressing F. Okay. So F. F is my lantern. We use that sparingly. Does it say how much fuel I have? Yes. That's how much oil I have. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no. Hello? Are you? Okay, can excuse me? Stop! No footsteps! This is a footstep free zone. I will make you. Learn things. If you don't cut that out. Okay. Oh! Who went? What the heck? I tried. I ain't even scared. Oh, okay. Except for desks. I'm terrified of desks. Of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. 
God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. All right. There we go. We got our we got our goal of the game. It's to kill this dude. Um Can I put stuff on this? I can. That's fun. This game is great. Just throwing things around, don't mind me. I'm just touching everything in case something like I don't I don't realize what it is. Oh, here's a lever. Oh, whoa! The hell did you come from? chair I think was in its way. <laughs> Still a slight headache so I think we're doing okay. Oh don't tell me to run. Oh no. Okay. I'm not in love that I can I can run now. Oh, jeez, and rice. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Need sunglasses to that. Can I go this way? I don't think I was supposed to go that way. Alright, what do we have here? What? Wine cellar. I was like, what? <laughs> Let's go to the, can we go to the wine cellar? I don't think so. It's locked and will not open without a key. Find the key for the wine cellar. Okay. <laughs> Thought we were just gonna ignore that. Nah, we don't need to go there. Oh, I vaguely remember this area. Oh no. Oh no. Spider webs? Whenever something does come along that's gonna kill me, I'm gonna die immediately because until I reach that point, I'm just gonna try not to like stall. No thank you! No thank you! I think I got too close to that. Okay. Head is pounding, hands are shaking. Okay, I'm like, not good. Whoa! Oh, those are the fishies. Oh god, I thought that was a face right there. <laughs> ah. 
Oh, here's stuff. Oil. Okay, let's see what this says. The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Okay. So we need to go to the wine cellar. I think let's light this because I know I'm gonna come back so let's light this give myself a bit of light oh oh ah there should be more coop right let me see let me see and one part aqua force it's telling us what we need I think for those. Chemistry pot. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. Vitae? I'm stupid. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cup cuprate binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua ra regia instead of aquafortis and hoped it will produce a, a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and provides impractical to put to any use except for its detergent. Okay. <laughs> Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use this recipe, but I'm looking I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, so maybe we can, so we can use that hopefully like to splash the 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 gooey stuff that blocked a door. Bro, I'm scared too. All right, Daniel, calm down. Okay, good. We our sanity went back up a little bit. We're not doing terrible. Okay. Okay. Alright, so now we need to find the keys to the wine cellar. Or the freaking cockroaches. Over. Come here. I really don't like it that way. Like, my head, like, immediately headache pounding. Alright, entrance hall. Let's go back to the entrance hall. Let's see what else we can find. Shh. Um. Should I go towards that? It seems like I shouldn't go towards that. Let's go up here. Was it this way? Oh. We're just gonna ignore the ignore the thought process of the fact that I, you know, could open a door that was bolted shut. Archives. This looks also bolted. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Into the archives we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm gonna die right here. Rare books. Okay. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. 
Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay. Anything in these? Oh, come on! How are those all empty? I'm just throwing things in hope that I'll be more scary than whatever uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be scared of, so. Get a tiny bit of my sanity back. Should just steal these candles. Like, I don't really understand that. Why can't I just hold a candle in my hand? I mean, I know it's not super practical, but like, you know. Oh, that was something. I keep thinking those are something I can pick it up. I just like, you know, I just want to throw things everywhere so that way I remember which way I've been. <laughs> oh, that chair was thrown? Yep, yeah, I've been here. No. Shirts! Ah! Formal wear! 17th of May. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I was trapped. Okay. Interesting. Oh, come here, buddy. How many have I collected so far? Nine. Okay. I wonder if there's a cap, like if there's a maximum on how much I can hold. I didn't open this door. Whoa! Why is there music? No, 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 no. Nope, thanks. Nope. Nope. I don't like music. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna end that part here. <laughs> I think ending on the spooky music is a good key. Um... I get a key, like a piano key. Doesn't even make sense anyways, but it's funny that it was key. Anyways, end it there. Uh, more spooks to come shortly, so stay tuned.